offers an intensive three-year curriculum whereby students focus on both theoretical subjects and practical skills. In total, students are required to do four internships in a country and area of their choice. In the final year, students choose a specialised minor themselves. This flexibility in the programme allows you to customise the curriculum to your personal skill set. I really enjoyed anatomy because it's like the basic you need for everything else. And if you have a good anatomical knowledge, it's easier to have like the other subjects done in a good way as well. So I like assessment as well. So uh, it's really important to diagnose the patient correctly. And then later on you do your interventions. So the anatomical knowledge is the base you need definitely to have a good assessment and later on do your interventions accordingly to your diagnosis. What I also love about ESP is the practical classes, um, assessment interventions, where you will learn your skills hands-on. First semester we did massage. Imagine having a massage class, massaging other people and having being massaging class. And then you have something called clinical sessions, which in which you go to a physio's practice um, and practice on a real patient. So this is organized by the school. However, usually it's done a bit too late, the organization, you don't really know what the patient is going to be like um, and you're too little prepared. However, I think it's a really good initiative. The mentoring part was very useful, meaning as soon as I came into the school, some, uh, a teacher of ours uh, was my coach and I could discuss with him all my problems, all the issues that have also a relation uh, while you, uh, someone is international student. Uh, there are not only problems with uh, the study career, but also with personal issues. For example, uh, uh, students are far away from their home. And uh, uh, coaching, that's why coaching and mentoring are very important in our program. For the ESP, we've got uh, two ways of uh, research implementation. One is the explicit implementation and the other is the implicit one. Uh, for the explicit implementation, we have a clear line. In that uh, course, in those courses, students uh, learn uh, from basic statistics up to how to write a literature review and uh, they also carry out a very small research project. We also have the implicit version and that is where we reinforce our students to uh, implement what they learn in the normal courses into their everyday clinical practice. Myself and my group uh, did a project using uh, Fitbits and uh, looking at the validity of them, um, sort of extrapolating data from students uh, modelled on an elderly population and then looking at whether or not it could be useful in a physiotherapy setting. So what are the admission criteria? You require a secondary school examination certificate, equivalent to the Dutch VWO diploma, and an English language proficiency of 6.5 or higher. To apply, there is a selection procedure for enrolment. You will graduate with a Bachelor of Science degree with honours in physiotherapy. If you'd like to know more, visit hva.nl forward slash ESP.